Hi, my name is Michael Novello. Here I present you fast and effective Photoshop tutorials with amazing results. In this tutorial today I want to show you how you can create this heart monitor with the heart shape here. And for this I've created a new file and I'm going to add a solid color layer with a dark green color and then I'm going to create a pattern for this I'm going to add or oh, create a new file 100 by 100 and I'm zooming in and then I choose a hard brush with yeah, about three pixels is okay and then I'm going to add some helper lines like this and then I'm going to paint some lines here one time two times with the same uh, same line and then I'm going to oh one moment like this okay now I'm going to edit define pattern and I call this grid one and then I'm going back to my green file here and I'm going to fill with the fill bucket and the pattern I'm going to fill down with my pattern here like that uh, no console and I want to create a new layer like this and on this new layer I'm going to add an effect, a layer effect and I want a color overlay and in this case I'm going to add a green dark green color like um, this here and click OK and OK now we have this grid for the background the next step is to create these uh, lines here this pattern and for this I'm going into my file and create a helper line and with the path tool I'm going to add a path and make a little spike and then a big spike like that and another little spike and then go back to the line and like this and then I'm going to my brush and I want a brush with a size of let's go with five or six that's okay then I'm going to add a new layer and going back to my path tool right mouse key stroke path and this time I don't check simulate pressure then I click OK and now I have my pattern here going to delete my path right now and then I'm going to duplicate the path here and I'm going to bring it over and another copy and bring it over maybe here on this side and another copy right here like that and then we need another copy one copy here and another copy and now we have to create the heart shape now we add the heart shape and for this we're going to the custom shape tool here custom shape tool and we're choosing heart and then I'm going to add here a heart shape like that and move it over so that it is in the middle of these two spikes maybe we make it a little bit smaller and bring it over so that it is in the middle of these two spikes here then I'm going to 
rasterize that. Let's name this heart shape. And now I'm going with my path tool. I'm going to add a path here, a straight path. And then I'm going to re redo the, the heart shape here. With the pen tool. Maybe here and we go with that like this that so that it is really round. And again, let's see, give it this, should be okay. Then again. And again, another point. And another point here. And another point here. And then we are going straight down and over. Not a new anchor, I want down and over. Okay, now I'm going to adjust this a little bit. And let's see. Yeah, it's looking good. Maybe this one a little bit more round. Yeah, this is this okay. Maybe we add another anchor point here and bring this down. And now I think we are okay. And now I'm going to create a new layer. And going to stroke path and press OK. And I'm going to delete the path. Now we have this hard shape in the middle of this spikes here. Then the next step is to bring this to to glow. Now I'm going to delete the heart shape layer and I bring these layers for the spikes and heart together by selecting them and press Ctrl E. And then I'm going to copy that and by holding down the Alt key and move drag it down and this will be our blur. And this is the heart monitor. Okay. And here I want to have a glow. For this, I'm going to add an inner glow. An inner glow with an um, opacity of, let's go with 60% or so, 60 or 70%, and a size of, let's go with. Um, let's go around 20, 25 to 30. And then I want a color overlay and I want a really bright green color here. And then I want the outer glow, outer glow with uh, green color as well, a really bright one. And let's go with a big size of yeah, let's go with 30 or so, 35. And uh, the opacity 35% is okay. Let's play around a little bit. That's okay. 38% and click okay. Then I'm going to my blur layer and I'm going to blur this with a Gaussian blur. With a, let's go with a high number Let's close this here. This is for my tablet. And let's go with yeah, let's go with that. And press OK. Then we can repositioning our two layers here. Let's go a little bit down like this. And there we are. Now we have a hard monitor. It looks a little bit different. You can work 
more on the heart shape like I did in my original file. And yeah, there we are. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle. And my last two videos you can find here and here. And if you really like my videos, you can support me on patreon.com. Here's the link. And thanks again. And see you next time. Bye.